that believe that I'm anti-police. It's simply not the case. I'm anti-police brutality, and I need not... In the Sandtown Winchester neighborhood where Freddie Gray was arrested and with a mural of his memory behind her, Baltimore State's attorney Marilyn Mosby announces that she will not try the three remaining cases surrounding Gray's death, saying that the deck was stacked against her from a judge that did not see the evidence that her office did to push back from the Baltimore City Police Department. The judge who is within his right has made it clear that he doesn't agree with the state's theory of the case and does not believe that any of the actions or inactions of these officers rise to the level of criminality. I have to be clear, it was not the entire Baltimore Police Department. It was certain individuals within the police department that was working against us. State's Attorney Mosby sat down with 11 News to talk more about why she and her office made the decision, which she says was a difficult one. We were ready to proceed on these cases and it was a matter of is this in the best interest of the city? Is this in the best interest of justice for Freddie Gray? Ultimately, Mosby and her staff felt dropping the charges would still be the best way to continue reforms within the police department, despite not getting a conviction. We also asked the state's attorney about her critics questioning the legitimacy of her office. Mosby says the fact that a grand jury indicted the officers, the appellate court forced testimony, and the judge denied 13 motions for dismissal speaks for itself. The legitimacy of our prosecution was always intact, and for anybody to suggest otherwise is just clearly not privy on the law. Mosby also says things are a lot more transparent in the Baltimore City Police Department than when this all started, citing new protocols when it comes to arrests, the implementation of body cameras, and training wagon drivers. We, as the elected prosecutor of this city, I made a vow and a promise that we are going to make those substantive reforms to the criminal justice system. And so his death will never, ever be in vain. And I'm very proud of my prosecution team and proud that we pursued this case. Now, Mosby also wanted to make it very clear that she feels the current police administration led by Police Commissioner Kevin Davis has been very cooperative going forward. She also says that she stands by the statement she made 14 months ago that she still believes that Freddie Gray's death was a homicide. We're live downtown tonight. I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL, TV 11 News. Now, Lowell, thank you.